Yo, what's up, y'all? This Vach. I wanted to do this uh, this quick film session. I'm not gonna hold y'all too too long, but I was watching um, I was watching Kayla Von Chase on versus uh, versus Alabama. Right? When they gonna do a film session on Chase on? Really? You know, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, sometimes I just don't. But I was so impressed with a handful of clips. I just wanted to pull them together and show you guys. I'm gonna talk about him as a pass rusher later. So I know a lot of y'all like to lead the video, so don't do that. But let's look. Can I can I just talk about how Caleb on Chase on deals with offensive linemen that's bigger than him? How Chase on deals with the run game? Let's let's just talk about Caleb Von Chase on as a player. Relentlessness, motor, effort. Great vengeance and furious anger. He's number 18 right here standing up on the right side of your screen. Let's just take a look at how he deals with offensive linemen that are that are that are bigger than him. This is my man's from Alabama, 65, Deontay Brown. I, you, 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 <laughs> I gives it up for Deontay Brown. You know what I mean? Salute to that. that that's one of my that's one of my guys. He ain't even coming out this year. But he's gonna pull and try to kick Caleb Von Chase on, boom, but effort his way into the tackle. Boy, he could have just complied to this dude being bigger than him and I'm on the ground. Now I'm going to get back up. I'm going to scramble and I'm going to help my guy tackle Najee Harris. That is fantastic. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Chase Sons on the right side of your screen, number 18. Let's watch him again. Boy, who is that? Leatherwood, number 18. He is bigger than me. How do I combat an offensive lineman? Being a small stand-up pass rusher, really. Um, how do I combat somebody that's bigger than me? I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going. There are some some clips out there of him getting, getting overpowered by somebody bigger than him. Sure, that does exist. Um, but a lot of the time when he's dealing with people bigger than him, which is most of the time, he's hanging in there by sheer will and anger and effort. You know what I mean? Right side again. Let's take a look at him. See what he's doing. See what he's doing. This this is more so of just 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 the effort here, man. Just just look look at your boy, man. Didn't even make the tackle. I'm not talking about Chase Young right now. I'm not, cause I know somebody in the chat box in the comment section they they gonna get on to me, man. They gonna talk about the last film session uh, that I, you know, what I'm saying dropped about Chase. But this is 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 a night and day example of what I want you to do. K. Levon could be jogging right here, man. He could. He's blocked. He's technically blocked right here, but he's gonna go, what is that, a receiver, a tight end or something? Yeah, he's gonna go through Jerry Judy. He's gonna go through another block, and he, just, just to get there, dog. I love this. This is football, and we should appreciate it more, okay? All I'm hearing about from K. Levon Chase on is the type of pass rusher he is, the type of athlete he is. We gonna get there, but we should appreciate stuff like this, man. What's the next play? Another one? I got it all day of just him dealing with people bigger than him, him being out the frame and just just making a difference in the play. Look at this. Najee cutting this thing all, all the way back. Look, Chase on going to be there. Chase on going to be around. <laughs> Again, look at this. We got a not a tunnel screen. Yeah, tunnel screen. Quick jailbreak to the left. Boom. Who going to make the top? Chase on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And this is all versus Alabama, man. So so now um, I can talk about K. Levon Chason's pass rush a little bit, right? That's that's the least we can do before we get up out of here. Um, but, but, but I think he's a bit raw as a pass rusher, right? In terms of, you know, what to do with my hands, like when to do things, when to put moves together, like tool belt type of stuff, right? I think he's a bit raw as a pass rusher, and that's why he doesn't have a lot of sacks. I know he only got like six, six and a half, something like that. Stat nerds help me out. Um he ain't got a lot of numbers because he doesn't finish very well, right? But as a product of him not finishing most of these sacks or whatever, he get a gang of pressures. You know what I mean? If you watch uh, LSU versus uh, Clemson, the championship game, right? I don't know how many sacks he got on on Lawrence, but he got a bunch of hits on Lawrence. He got a lot of pressures on, on, on Lawrence. He's going to mostly be pressure guy. Take a look at him on the right side here, just screaming off the offense, just, just screaming up against this guy, right? Leatherwood, Leatherwood had no clue. Um, this seems to be Chase Son's favorite move here, right? Uh, 
some people call it uh, stabbing or long arming or stiff arming. We call it jabs on this uh, on this uh, channel here, right? Get a uh, get a good little jab there, create distance. Look at how much distance he creates from you know him and the left tackle here, right? And as an offensive lineman, we're powerful when our elbows are bent. We can block you with bent elbows. Offensive linemen aren't strong with extended elbows. So if you're a defensive lineman and you have enough length to extend us. Uh, either our hands aren't going to get on you or we're going to put hands on you, but we're not powerful because they're so extended. Um, and I like what Chase on is doing here, using his length and defeating and defeating your outside hand with his outside hand with that little bit of uh, with that little bit of swipe right there. Now, Tua Tonga Valoa um, prayed to the football guys and got that thing out of his hands quick. Uh, but if he had held a little bit longer. He'd have been dog food, man. He'd have been dog food. Let's talk about Chase on on this play. Uh, lined up to the outside against 70 here. Let's just uh, let's just uh, see what he does here. Let's just see what he does here, man. Um, that's pretty fantastic right there. So how about this, right? If you've been following my channel last year, I may have said a quote uh, that goes along the lines of, if you're a pass rusher, you want to fill the blocker's brain with information. And if you're in the chat box, tell me if you remember me saying that. Um, but you, you you just want to fill up the possibilities, the scenarios, right? So I'm gonna get you some fakes. I'm gonna get some some uh, some head fakes, hand fakes. I'm gonna do a lot of things just to kind of get you to react a certain way, so I can go the opposite way of whatever way I'm reacting. So if I'm gonna come off the ball here, the good old hand high dip low trick. Oh, you can't beat down with a stick, my guy. You can't beat down with a stick. Um, I'm going to get my hands high, and it's going to make you attack high. It's just a psychological thing. I, I, I hate when D linemen do it. It's never been done to me because I play center. Uh, but this happens a lot with, like, pass rushes with uh, uh, tackles and things like that. But um, he's going to get his hands up high, make you get your hands high, and I'm just kind of going to go under your hands. And he already got enough quickness off the line of scrimmage to get to your back hip quickly. So now he's behind you and under you. Uh, to the to the to the way that if you're if you're uh, Leatherwood, all you can kind of do is just grab his face mask, hold him, and pull him and grab on him. Uh, once again, <laughs> once again, <laughs> Tua would have been lunch meat. But um, hey man, it just is what it is there. But but it, it, even in Chase on not getting a sack, we we are we are pressuring. We are we are putting hits on on um, on. Uh, quarterbacks we're making quarterbacks uncomfortable all this stuff starts to add up some more uh some more fantastic ass whoop right here uh pretty much the same move long arm and, and look man so i think i think what chase on is is gonna be i think he's gonna be um like an upside pick right like if you're drafting them you're gonna get this ball of clay that you can continue to mold you get this guy with uh with with ball get off with burst with natural bend speed things like that uh natural arm length and like we said early in the video a trait of his that that doesn't get as much pub as it should that damn effort that damn um you know that 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 motor that relentlessness you know what i mean you take those traits and you put them together and you teach them how to manipulate wrists you teach them how to hey man get back inside at this point you know or how to use um you know leverage and momentum against somebody once you fill them with those lessons and you take that ball of clay give them a peanut butter sandwich and uh, put them in the weight room see if he gets a little bigger you probably got you a pretty good pass rusher and uh caleb on chase on all right uh somebody in the chat box probably gonna ask me hey vosh where would you draft him i don't know you tell me the youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing to my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi i appreciate the support doski woski salute